to my channel sharp designs by lakeisha where i'm designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same if you are new here please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that post notification bell so that you are notified every single time i do an upload and you're not tardy to the party so on today's vlog we're going to be talking about double stuffing balloons and making custom colors i think it's kind of essential it's not essential but it is if you want to begin to take your balloon garlands to the next level which is why on my last vlog I shared with you guys tips on how to make your clusters that you often see me tie in on my design set up with me vlogs which give my balloon garlands the extra volume the extra texture and dimension and really make my balloon garlands pop and look just bomb so if you are interested in taking your balloon garlands to the next level, you definitely want to watch this vlog to hear all my tips and shit. You are able to find a ton. I mean, there are color. If you're looking for a color eight times out of ten, you're gonna be able to find it throughout the different brands. You have Qualitex, Sempratex, Metallitex. Um, what's the one that starts with the G? You have, there are just so many different um, balloons out there. You just have to kind to try out the different brands and find the one that works best for you. I use a lot of Sempertex and Qualitex. I haven't really expanded into other brands um, as much, but there are tons of beautiful colors out there. But sometimes you just feel like you want to use what you're working with um, to get what you need. So today I'm going to show you guys a little bit about custom colors um, and how to do double stuffing balloons. It's pretty simple. Um, it just takes, it's that extra step that you have to take that's going to be more time consuming to make it worth it. Um, as far as double stuffing balloons, I'm going to start off with um, a simple one here. So this right here is Qualitex Sparkling Burgundy. And as you can see when I blow it up here, and if you're new here, Dakota is like my um, third arm, third leg, extra boob. She's just stuck to me like glue. She barely takes snaps now, so <laughs> I have to do what I can. Otherwise, I won't get vlogs done. So I'm using a hand pump right now. You can also use an electric pump if you have one, but I'm using this hand pump, um, which is most likely what you'll need to use when you're doing double stuffing because the balloon gets really thick and it takes an extra um, bit of work to get those pumped. So this is sparkling burgundy. As you can see, you should be able to probably see me or my hand moving behind here. It has a lot of shine, which is I'm assuming why they call it sparkling burgundy. And then I'm gonna take this one, which I believe is a fuchsia pink. I think this is just a random one that I purchased off of Amazon for a vlog one time. But it's like a fuchsia hot pink. And as you can see, this, hold on, not yet. And as you can see, this one is not opaque. You can't see me through it or anything. See this one, you can still see me behind the lens. I'm just red, right? But this one, you can't see me through it. So that's the difference between these two balloons. And so if you were going to make a color out of these, let me tie it not in this one so you can see. Um, we're gonna save these two colors. And what I'm gonna do is mix them. So you can do the pink or the burgundy on the inside or outside, but because that sparkling burgundy one is so see-through, you wanna make it not see-through. So I put it inside of the, um, the pink inside of the sparkling burgundy here. Oh, and when you're going to double stuff, you're just basically getting the balloon inside of the other one, which is pretty simple. I normally use, I have these wooden dowels around here sometimes that I would <laughs> use to do it, or you can use a pen, anything that's narrow and long. This is just a regular ballpoint pen. I'm just gonna stick the balloon through there and I twist it around. And then I'm just going to stick it in like so and I twirl it on in, pinch the top. Hold it, baby. Stop, mama. And then slide it out and then get her situated in there. So now that I have it all inside, what I'm gonna do now, as I said before, you can use your electric pump for the balloons. Um, the, neither one of these are pearlized. When you buy pearlized balloons, those 16 inches, when you're blowing those bad boys up are already thick enough. Um, so um, it's harder to tie those. But when you use pearlized balloons, it's a lot harder to blow up with the pump. So you would need to um, pull it like this to kind of stretch it out. It's what I do to get it kind of worked in for double stuffing. 
And so now that I have that in there, I'm just going to hand pump it and let you guys see the color. All right, and so this is what it looks like. Double stuffed. So as you can see, I took that sparkling burgundy and that pink and it made like a pretty um, red color. I think the camera is a little bright. So it just got a little lighter and more of a red color. Um, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but now you see me, now you don't. So if you ever order balloons and they're see-through and you weren't expecting that, you can double stuff them. I did, I think I have right now, I have two, or this is a high school graduation and a college graduation booked um, for the graduations and everything being um, delayed. And the one of the school colors is like this, funky, um, you know how they have like the maroons and stuff, and I didn't want to just use um, the regular burgundy balloon. I wanted to, oh this actually, you can see it better back here. You can see how that pink help gave it more of a custom look. So now this is more more definitely on the lines of a maroon red tone versus a burgundy. Um, so this is what I will be using for the graduation um, that I have coming up. Perfect, all right, so here you go, girl. Have at it. All right, so next thing we're gonna do this. I have an actual yellow, pastel yellow balloon that I purchased. See that is like a really, really pretty light yellow. And then I also have this super bright yellow, which is um, some balloons that I purchased just off of Amazon that I had left over from a project. So if I were doing a balloon garland and I ran out of pastels or even if I just had these extra yellow balloons laying around and I got an order for let's say a um, garland that included pastel colors so I'm like okay I have all these bright yellow colors when am I going to use these I don't want them to go to waste all I have to do now is get some white balloons that I probably have left over because I always have white and then you can see that just so you can see the difference this is the light yellow over here and then this is the white I'm gonna mix with this to get this so what you do whenever you want to get more of a pastel tone if you get the color in the darkest that you can get it like this is pretty mustardy that yellow that I showed you guys and then I have already have this pre inserted into this white balloon to double stuff it so now all I need to do is pop it. Okay, so I have it all pumped. And as you can see, I have that white on the outside and that dark yellow on the inside. That dark yellow is gonna pierce through. It's hard to see when it's this close, but when I bag it up, you guys can see the actual color that it is, which is a very soft yellow. But if you wanted to create pastels just because you have extra balloons, um, that's how you can do it. You just tuck your, have your white on the outside, put the color on the inside, as dark of that color as you can find. So if you want a baby pink, you would wanna find more of a darker pink um, to put on the inside and it'll pierce through that white just enough to give it a pastel look. Here you go, pumpkin. Alright guys, so moving on, I um, just want to try, you know, I'm just trying out a couple of different techniques or balloon mixtures just to kind of show you guys how double stuffing works. It's not necessary, it does, I, in my opinion, I don't see it doing anything extra for your balloon garland except helping you get that color, that custom color that you're looking for. If you need a custom color or if you had some extra balloons laying around that you want to use that you're not using, you can kind of mix those to get something that'll ma match the look that you're trying to do for your current um, job that you have booked. So that's really what I get out of um, double stuffing balloons. I um, mean, if you are new here, again, I am self-taught. If you started watching my um, balloon garlands from the beginning, that's probably the stages where some of you are if you're just starting. So I think it is helpful to start at those as far as how I make garlands. And as you wa watch my vlogs, you can see how I transition things. Um, and I've just been figuring things out on my own. Started doing balloons on the side and then, you know, I'm sharing this information with you guys as well. Once this pandemic is like over, over, like not fake over, because right now everybody's outside, but 
you know, she's still out. Corona's still out there. But once this is really over, I do want to get more into doing one-on-ones, offering those as a service for you guys, because um, I do love it. So moving on, um, so I have another tip and trick that I want to share with you guys. Um, for those of you that actually watched this through, I didn't want nobody just to skip through and get this good old information. Some of you may have already seen this, some of you may have not, but if you have been on the website for Qualitex, they actually have a chart for double stuffing balloons with colors that they already have that you can use to create some unique colors. So I know when I first started seeing people talk about custom colors and double stuffing, I'm like, what are they melting the balloons and mix them together? I really didn't understand it, but um, it's really as simple as this. So definitely check out this chart that I showed you guys if that's something um, that you are interested in trying out because it will definitely help you. I, def I used that chart um, to create a color that I did for the garland that you actually see on the cover of this vlog. My client wanted navy blue, burgundy, and blush. And um, I ordered some blush balloons. I knew blush. I ordered some blush balloons um, from Qualitex that they have, but that blush isn't the pink blush that she wanted. Sometimes when people say blush, I always think like the peachy, but she wanted more of a pink peach instead of more peachy, which is what the Qualitex blush balloon is more of like a nude peachy kind of color. So I looked on at their custom color chart that they had on the website that I just showed you guys, and they had a color that was called champagne something it was basically a mixture of um like a sparkling pink color and a sparkling ivory and so i ordered those two balloons colors to actually make that color so custom colors are definitely more expensive because instead of ordering one balloon color you now have to order two separate ones um, which is going to be basically double for that one color that you have to make so it's not something that i would say just go all out and start doing um unless you just have to um, because like i said there are tons of different balloon brands out there you just have to look at those and see what colors from each one or if they have a color that will work and they're always coming out with different colors and things like that so you want to stay up to date um, with that if you are able to so what I'm gonna do is something similar to that um, champagne-y, pinky blush color that I made for the balloon garland that you saw on the cover. These just aren't the um, pearl colors because I have to pump these by hand. And again, I told you, it's a lot harder doing pearlized balloons um, by hand. So where I'm sitting, my pump is right here, but where I'm sitting, there really isn't an outlet nearby. Um, and I don't feel like relocating, so I'm just gonna keep doing it by hand. So I'm gonna take this kind of like a light pink this light pink color and I'm gonna mix it with this light yellow that I just showed you guys, which is more of like a pastel yellow to get the blush. So we're gonna go from pink, more pink, darker pink to a blushy, peachy kind of color. So I already have them double stuffed here. All right, I have the knot tied and this is the color that I was able to get. It's a really pretty, we can focus. It's a really pretty blush pink tone. And this was the original color, which I can pump up for you guys for you to see. It was more of a coral. So it went from more of a coral to a really light, pretty, I'm hoping that the camera is doing this some justice that you guys can really see because this color is everything to me. It's like a true, it's like a true blush um, and not a light, it's not a light pink or a baby pink. It's like a true, like this is the perfect blush tone. <laughs> But anywho, I just wanted to share that tidbit of information with you guys so that if you are trying to figure out what people mean when they say double stuffing and custom colors, that is just something to get you guys started on your journey with that. Um, it does take an extra step, which is more time that you have to spend, but sometimes it is worth it to not have a basic balloon garland. And be sure, if you have not, to watch my last vlog on how to make the clusters and get them um, to take your garlands to the next level and give it that extra dimension and texture to make it the perfect wow factor for your event. It was so good 
talking to you guys today. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And be sure to turn on your post notification bell so that you do not miss an upload from me. Also, if you're not already, please follow me down on Instagram. I have two accounts, one with me, and you'll see lots of Dakota and my husband, my family life, and then I have my business page where you see all things, event design and balloon garlands that I have going on and want to share with you guys as far as tips and tricks. I will see you guys on the next vlog. Stay safe. Bye.